Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Erudispace. Today we will discuss about the quasi-static processes. So before discussing the quasi-static processes, I will give you some idea about what is done in case of classical thermodynamics, what is a reversible process and what is a quasi-static process and how quasi-static process is related to the reversible process. We should remember that the classical thermodynamics is based on the concept of the equilibrium state such that only that type of state can be studied. All of us know that a system is said to be in thermodynamic equilibrium when it attains mechanical equilibrium, thermal equilibrium and chemical equilibrium. Now, what is a reversible process? Reversible process is a process in which both the system and surrounding can be brought to the original condition from the final state without making any changes in the thermodynamic properties of the universe if the process is reversed. Now, there is a difference between a perceived reversible process and actual reversible process. For example, you collect ice from the freezer and you put the tray outside. After some time you will find that the ice will get converted into water. So now there is a state change from solid state to liquid state. You put the same tray in the freezer and after some time you find that again it freezes and the water do get converted into ice. But is it a reversible process? No. It is a perceived reversible process because there are changes both in the system and the surrounding and the initial condition is not restored. Maybe the original condition of ice is restored but there are certain changes which are not reversible. So this is a typical case of perceived reversible process. In actual world, all the processes are irreversible processes. In fact, irreversibility is the law of nature. Now what about these quasi-static processes? Quasi-static process is a type of thermodynamic process that occurs so slowly for a system to maintain internal thermodynamic equilibrium and quasi means almost. So quasi-static process approximates a reversible process. The concept about quasi-static process would be more clear if you take an example and we will analyze what is happening when a normal process is taking place and when a quasi-static process is taking place. So what we have done, we have taken a container with some amount of gas in the container. A piston is provided and the piston can move up and down depending upon the pressure of the gas. We have two stops provided which prevents the movement of the piston beyond this point. So you know that gas is present and gas also has some pressure. Ideally, the gas would have pushed the piston to this condition, but some weight W has been placed on the top of the piston and this weight force W is just sufficient to counterbalance the pressure force being exerted by the gases. Now, let us consider that initially it is in a state of equilibrium because it is not moving, the weight is balancing the pressure force, let that be 1. So in thermodynamic coordinate PV, this is your point 1. Then what we do? You remove the weight. Now what we find? That due to the pressure being exerted, the piston will move up and here it will stop. Point 2. Again this is in a state of equilibrium. 
all the intermediate states pass through are not in a state of equilibrium that's why as per the rules of the classical thermodynamics it cannot be represented in a continuous line so a dotted line actually represents the process and the analysis of such a normal process cannot be done in classical thermodynamics where equilibrium is very very important and for that reason what we do a quasi static process is being perceived so what is that quasi static process here also you are having a container you are having the same amount of gas exerting the same amount of pressure you are also having a piston which can move up and down you have stops which prevents the movement of the piston beyond this point and you have series of weights mounted on the top of the piston this series of weights put together has the same weight as the weight of the previous normal process now what we do these weights are removed one by one and they are so negligible in weight that removal of these weights hardly affects the equilibrium state and this actually consists of infinite number of small weights and removal of each weight is not affecting the equilibrium status or they are almost in equilibrium state so all the points from 1 to 2 are in state of equilibrium more appropriate example would be that if these series of weights are substituted by sand particles of same weight so now as you remove single sand particle there will be some variation but what will be the variation or departure from the equilibrium state is infinitesimal so that's the reason quasi static processes are perceived and quasi static processes approximate the reversible process so whatever analysis we do and whatever may be the thermodynamic process all the calculation of work transfer heat transfer anything that we do are on the assumption that these are your quasi static processes and i believe that today's lecture would be extremely useful for all of you in understanding the basic concept of quasi static process Thank you very much for watching this video please do like subscribe and comment on my videos